A sketchbook, very, very important to start your sketchbook practice. A practice meaning something you do on a regular basis. If uh, you pull your phone out 10 times a day, well, pull your sketchbook out one time a day. And uh, start looking around wherever you are and taking down some notes, putting down some pictures, taking it home, and then looking at it and saying, okay, I can make a nice little watercolor out of this. I've got a little piece of land here that basically comes across a little bit on an angle. See the triangle there? So I've got to come down a little bit lower here, a little bit higher here, just come straight across with a line. No fuss, no muss. I'm not even worried it's not even straight. Why? I don't listen to that little voice anymore. Put a little bump or two in it, a little jagged edge up here. There we go. And now I have a cloud here. Very simple. Another cloud here. That's got one, two. And what else? Oh, I've got a little mountain behind here. There we go. And I'm not sure what this is. This looks like... Oh, that's another big mountain here. Oh, I'm going to put it in front of the cloud. It's going to come down like that. So the cloud's in front of the mountain. And then we have here, we got some waves. There we go. Now, what does my mind say right now? It says it's pretty pathetic, Ron, but you know what? I don't listen to that anymore because I know any time that I want to put effort into this, I can bring it to a different level. So let's get rid of that little voice that says, eh, 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 you can't, you can't. And let's use a few principles. First principle, dark to light. Take my pencil. I'm just using my pencil. I have a little trick with my finger where I move the finger along the bottom of something, see, and it stops the pencil from going any farther. And then I'm going to go dark to light to dark to light to dark. And then I'll go back a bit, just using a pencil. I'm going to show you what the eraser should do. Okay, now a little voice in me is saying, uh, I don't know where these little voices come from, but they're, they're not, I'm not neurotic or crazy. They actually are kind of words that say, okay, this is looking better. Words of encouragement from, I don't know, whatever. Uh, okay, if I talk too much, I lose it. So you'll see it's very much listening, listening to what's going on and watching what I'm doing. Being a spectator is better than trying to boss yourself around. So there's my dark, there's my light. I'm going to take my finger now. You can use a blending stump if you want. I don't seem to see one handy here, so I'll use my finger for today. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of this. And I, I'm not thinking that this might be a watercolor later, so I'm going to leave that little white thing there. And I'm going to just blend across and skip over some of that white area there. See? Oh, I've got little voices saying, saying, oh, good work there, Ron. You're doing some gradation. Gradation is going from dark to light. Okay, now, because of my experience, I'm going to put a little bit of that on the cloud up here. Just leaving the top and a little bit here. I'm looking at my sketch again. Looks like it was raining, so I'll put a little bit of lines like this. And lo and behold, my painting's starting to take some shape. Uh, this is kind of the same as this. So here's where I might use my eraser. And this is a called an, a gummy ra eraser. It's really good. They're, they're really old school. But they're better than the vinyl ones because they don't leave a bunch of stuff. Uh, it doesn't scratch your paper or work it very hard. I'm thinking this cloud could come into here. See, my eraser's helping me. It's not getting rid of mistakes. There are no mistakes in art. Just redirections. I take this little badger hairbrush. Some people shave, put shaving cream on with it, but uh, I use it for what I'm doing here. So now I'm going to just darken that. Put a little more pencil in here and rub it with my finger. And there's my cloud. You know what? I need to bring this cloud up 
Now I'm thinking design. I need a little vertical. See a vertical. The mountains are vertical. So I need a little vertical thrust in the cloud here. Uh, I'm liking that line there. It's a little dark, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten it a bit. See? Get my brush and just put it in very faint. Like that. I kind of like that. I think what I'll do is bring this up a little bit darker. Oh yeah, see if it's raining like that then this will be darker. How do I know that? From sketching. When you go sketching, you gather facts uh, that you observe and uh, you don't have to make anything up. If you don't sketch, you're going to be suffering from that myth that you're not creative because you have not observed anything. You haven't experienced anything. Art is relating to an experience and then creating. So relating and creating. Get a sketch, relate to nature or the city or a person or a thing or a dog or a cat, anything. Relate to it. Engage in it. And then participate in some artistic technique and create. Relating leads to creating. I'll show you what I could do to this in just two seconds.